right after that. So it's definitely All right, so as president, I understand that it's my responsibility to represent the voice of the entire undergraduate school body. And though it's difficult to take into account the opinions of almost 20,000 students, um, I'll try my best today to give the most comprehensive uh, viewpoint. Uh, I had the pleasure to meet with Wan Yang uh, to discuss not only his view, but the view of those who support the petition. So first of all, some of the things that he said was that there shouldn't be any guidelines at all. Um, and that the ones that have already been set in place had too many restrictions to the point where it seemed like we as students were all back in kindergarten again. Uh, he said that the nation already has rules and laws set in place that governs and be that governs the behavior of individuals and that are enforced by police in officials and further restrictions and guidelines set in place by the, by the university is completely unnecessary. For example, the part where it says don't harm others or violate the rights of others. We are, we are all protected from this already by our constitutional rights. He said that the guidelines discriminated against students and that it seemed as if it was meant specifically for them as it was under the dean of, dean of students website. He said that the task force was not democratic, not bureaucratic or representative at, in any way and that only four students were invited to offer their input when they represent 70% of the campus community. Now that was his view, and the view of many of the protesters, many of the students sitting in here, in here today. Uh, now as a student myself, who has interacted a lot with administration, and witnessed a lot of the issues that they're facing, I could understand their position in drafting these protest guidelines. You know, after what happened at Berkeley and Davis, with the Occupy movement growing and with the always gloomy possibility of things quickly going awry, I can imagine their concern to make sure that students are protected from danger, but more importantly, to make sure that things are handled properly and according to plan so that force or intervention is not needed in the first place. After all, students entrust to the university their security and well-being, uh, among other things, and as administrators, it is one of their main responsibilities to keep students safe and content. And if there is any sort of injury, damage, or dissatisfaction, it is, of course, on them. By creating these guidelines, it seems, that it seems as if they focused on this responsibility extensively, and were working hard to do their job right so that there are no problems, or uh, th so that there are no problems and that things go smoothly. Um, it is clear to me that their intentions weren't in any way to take away or repress anyone's fundamental rights, and that the banner and that the banner "Free Speech is Welcome Here" is in fact truthful. I see that. However, in my personal opinion, and to describe what I hope for in the outcome of this task force discussion, is that there needs to be a happy medium, a reasonable approach, like Chris Evans said, that clearly stands in alignment with these, with our constitutional rights. Well, I know that we always like to think of ourselves, uh, of the campus community here, like a family. And in a sense, administrators closely resemble the role of parents, while students closely resemble the role of children. Um, and sometimes parents can very well become overprotective of their children. Um, as students, it is our responsibility uh, not to handle the issues that administrators are facing, but in fact to study. Uh, that is our main responsibility, and we entrust to the administrators the responsibility of making guidelines and entrusting uh, or making sure that we're safe and what have you. Also, the majority of free speech and assembly practices by campus members are done whimsically in the spur of the moment, casually, and even on an everyday basis. We see students in the meditation room practicing their religion. We see various clubs and organizations with whole different view viewpoints, uh, meeting in the hub and other areas of campus. These, practice, these practices obviously don't require any kind of rules or restriction, uh, but when larger, more mobilized groups come into play with outside influence, such guidelines are very well necessary. So I think the guidelines should are necessary. There should be guidelines set in place in terms of how students, faculty, or what have you should um, protest. 
But I think that the guidelines should be drastically amended in a way that it's not so restraining and impractical. We need to keep in mind that not all acts of free speech or assembly consists of enormous and angry encampment groups with dangerous props. I also think that rather than guidelines focusing on how to protest, there should be more emphasis on guidelines focusing on how law enforcement officials are to assess protests and how to protect students in certain contexts. Um, and finally, I think the guidelines should be made clear that it is all inclusive and is not designed specifically for students. Um, all inclusive meaning not only the guidelines but the task force as well. I stand by my student constituents when they say that they want this to be in a public forum. But at the same time, I understand administrators and that when <coughs> we get into larger groups and larger meetings, it could you know, jeopardize the professionality of it and it could jeopardize the efficiency of, of the discussion. So um, in that sense, to engage student input and to welcome uh, any kind of student input, these forums or these meetings should definitely be publicized, but it should be more encouraged that students write what they write, write their opinions on paper rather than coming and voicing their opinions at the actual task force. Um, we see, you know, we see already student representatives here who leaders like myself and uh, GSA who who is their responsibility in that position to represent the student voice. And uh, you know, as that main responsibility, you know, we try hard to make sure that we we take into account all the student voices here on campus. So in that sense, you know, I stand by Tim's decision to you know to hold this task force and whatnot. So those are my uh, my comments.